So if you've never used VisiData before, it's actually a really cool command line tool to help visualize data sets that are generally very large. It might be cumbersome to work with in Excel. Um, uh, so honestly, the best way to demo it is to jump right in. So VisiData, you can install, and then you get this command line um, tool called VD. And then from here, you can point it at a data set. So I actually have Amy Klobuchar's uh, third quarter FEC filings right here on my desktop. Um, and so what we can do is we can pull it up. I'm going to open up her Schedule A filings, which are her um, her uh, receipts or the donations that her campaign brought in uh, last quarter. Um, so I can go ahead and hit that, and that will open it up in Visi Data. And what you have here is... It should look very familiar. This is Excel-ish. Um, you have columns and rows, and you can move up with uh, up and down with uh, uh, Vim key bindings. Um, there's a lot you can do here, and um, again, if you're really comfortable with the command line, it sometimes is just faster to work this way than to try to get it into Excel. Um, so, like to demo um, some of the cool stuff you can do with with Visi Data with large sets of data. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show two things. Um, first, I'm going to show uh, a histogram of which states gave uh, Amy Klobuchar's campaign the most number of donations. And then I'm going to uh, group that by uh, dollar amount to show which states gave the most money. So the difference there is most number of donations versus most uh, total amount of dollars. Um, so the first thing we need to do, and this is kind of a nuance that there's no reason you would know this unless you work with campaign data, but um, donations that pipe through Act Blue actually get uh, reported into the FEC filing twice. Uh, the reasoning behind that is not important, but uh, not important for this, but um, basically we need to uh, filter out the lines that say Act Blue in them because those are duplicate. Those are duplicates of the data. So there's one line that says it came from ActBlue, and then there's another line of the actual donation itself. So we need to filter those out. So we, we've uh, centered on our organization name column here. And so uh, I'm just going to do take the shortcut here and filter out anything that has a value in this column. There could be other organizations other than ActBlue that show up. Um, generally speaking, there aren't. So um, I'm going to filter out all the rows that have ActBlue under organization name so we can get those duplicate rows out. So in Visi Data, what I can do is I go to that column that I want to uh, filter on. I hit the pipe character, which um, allows me to start searching. And um, I'm gonna, you could do negation, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just find all the rows that have no value for organization name. So simple regex, I'll do um, caret and then dollar sign and hit enter. And what you can see here is it highlighted in orange all of the rows that match that. Um, so to actually do the filtering, you hit double quotes. And ta-da, my, my data set has now been filtered down to only organization names that are blank. So to demo some of the cool things we can do with Visi Data from here, um, I'll start by making a quick histogram. Um, and like I said, we're going to do this by state. So I navigate over to the state column and making a histogram um, of just counts. So here we just want to see which state sh showed up the most. So I go to that column and I hit Shift F. And it went and made a histogram for me. It did this automatically for me. We've got a nice visual here. Um, we have a percentage and we have a count and it's pretty cool. Like that was really easy. Um, unsurprisingly, Amy Klobuchar's donations, mo most of them came from Minnesota. Um, so that's, that's really cool. It was really easy. I didn't have to, you know, go into Excel or Google Sheets and argue with it about, um, about making this, this visualization. Um, so real quick, now let's say we want to say, we don't want to say, okay, which ones gave the most number of donations. We want to say the most um, amount of, of money. So the first thing that we will do is we will go over to the contribution amount column um, right here. And the first thing I'm going to do, uh, so this is has been read in as a string, but since we want to do a summation on it, um, I'm going to hit the, the dollar sign. And that tells VisiData that this is a currency column. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit plus, and then uh, this gives me my um, statistical aggregate options. 
uh, down here at the bottom of the screen. And we're just gonna type in sum. Great, so now uh, VisiData knows that it's going to be doing summations on this column and that the column is a currency type. Now we'll just go back over to our state column and we will hit Shift F again. And this time, instead of drawing out a uh, histogram, um, it grouped it all by, uh, we still have a count, so we can see the same data here uh, of, of how many donations came. But now we have a summation of the contribution by the state. And I'm gonna actually hit a uh, right bracket on this column and it now sorts it descending. If I had hit left bracket, it would have been ascending. Ascending is not that interesting, so descending. So again, we can see um, Minnesota gave the most amount of money to Amy Klobuchar in the third quarter, and we can see just by how much. Um, if we decide from this view we change our mind and we do actually want to sort it by count, we can go ahead and do it that way too. And you'll see the, the slight differences there. Um, so yeah, VisiData is pretty cool. It's, um, you know, like Vim, it takes a little bit to learn what the key special commands are and what the key bindings are. But once you have it down, you can start navigating data really quickly and it's actually pretty cool.